right, so here we are back day two, um, <laughs> in, which is actually the next day. So right off the bat, I got to say, had I not said anything, FedEx would have delivered on Friday instead of Thursday. I woke up this morning and I had the email that said, your shipping has been delayed again. It's going to be Friday. Today's Thursday and look at all the sea of white bags. I, our unit has arrived. So we're going to basically we're going to open this up. I'm going to walk you through real quick how to put this together. It doesn't seem that bad. It came in three boxes. I, I didn't do a big unboxing because I figured we're all adults and we know what's in a box or what a box looks like. They come packed one base and one top or one back rather in a box. Everything is extremely well packaged. Everything is bagged individually. Uh, these nice cloth drawstring bags. Uh, very well protected inside of the box. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, units are perfectly fitted to go right through an RV door, which is the advantage of RV furniture, as opposed to going down to your local uh, Thomasville or something like that and picking up a love seat. Um, this has that advantage of being broken down and being able to slide through the door. So the big reveal, we chose what appears to us to be the newest stuff, which is the cloth version of this setup. Uh, we know everybody has the pleather, big leather. Um, that seems to be kind of uh, popular. We chose to go with the cloth because we've seen a lot of that stuff where it, over time that uh, material flakes and stuff like that or with different brands. So been a little different in keeping with our color scheme. We went with the cloth and we chose what they label as oatmeal. And who doesn't love some oatmeal? So basically, real simple, uh, just pull the protective covers again, everything very well packaged and protected. Um, according to the directions here, all we have to do is take the uh, corresponding back piece, which again, very lightweight, and then from over here, there's a couple of tabs, if you can get down in here, there's a couple of slides right on the back here on the bottom that attach into these brackets here. Hopefully you can pick that up with it not being too dark. And then once these slides slide in, there'll be a click. And once you hear that click, you know you're locked in and you're good. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of doing this backwards here, so I apologize. So once you hear that click, and then there's Velcro for the back. It keeps it all pretty in case couch inspectors come by and they want to inspect your back end. All right, so as you can see, that was very difficult. Hard process of connecting those pieces. The next would be the centerpiece. Again, in beautiful oatmeal cloth. This has the two cup holders as well as the console. And, okay, so, okay, instructions are a little vague on this one, but if you've ever owned a sectional, uh, <laughs> we just became very close friends, uh, if you've ever owned a sectional sofa, they're pretty much all the same, they just kind of lock into place, they just slide in and boom you're done and what do they call that boom bob's your uncle it's a little expression okay so we got those two pieces down and i'm going to come over here excuse us tight quarters here and we're going to put the try to put these on in order here um So this one, not exactly sure how this one goes in. This one might have to be bolted down, maybe. Oh, no, even better. This middle piece has a couple of holes right here. And they line up with a couple of uh, bolts coming out the back.
to have they just spin off see so just line this up with the holes there and push this forward just a little bit and you just kind of Just so I can see in here a little bit. So the downside to disconnecting the light is that I can't see. So we there we go. It's going to line up. There's two holes in the bottom of this that we showed you. And there's two holes in the back piece here and these just thread through the holes and into the other holes and they all line up it's just kind of like fishing in the dark once you get all that straightened out you're good to go i think This really is a uh, simple process. It's just their thumb screw, like thumb screw covers there and screw ends. You kind of just hand tighten. As you can see, it's pretty tight. And again, the Velcro just holds down the skirting so that in case anybody ever comes back behind you, wants to come back there, they can see how tidy you are. And so the uh, last piece here again real simple is uh, pop in now here has a couple of posts on this side again we'll take off these protective sleeves a couple of posts you just kind of lift it place and feel it snap and then we go through all these little bags find your Last piece here. And try to do this so that everybody can see. But these just slide in these little pieces here so that you get them moving around. And then here it lock in and you're all set. And from there. All you have to do is kind of position it where you want it and give it a trial run. Has a nice little pull out right here. And then these are reclinable. They're wall huggers. So I don't think anybody wants to see me recline. But these do go all the way back with very minimal space. And you can just like that. So other than that, uh, as far as connecting it or attaching it to the slide, I think once we're all done here, let me come down here, there's some mounting points. So right here, this rail on both sides has mounting uh, holes. So you can just bolt it down to the slide itself, which is basically uh, the way the other dinette was set. And then you're good to go. And that will keep everything uh, everything from sliding around on the road. But I think overall, I think it's going to be a huge improvement from what was here. Um, again, both there's a port to open this 
real simple. Uh, push the out locks right into place. Nice cup holders, console, and recline on that side as well. And again, you can see we're pretty close to the uh, pretty close to the window here. Uh, so not taking up a whole lot of space. And it makes a huge difference as far as being able to sit, watch TV. Yeah, just kind of, you've had a day and you want to relax as opposed to a dinette that was incredibly uncomfortable. So, yeah, other than that, that was it. I'll put a link to the uh, Rec Pro website, webpage for this particular model. is a 70 inch, I think it's the biggest one that they have. Uh, they do have options that are powered and stuff like that with LED lights and we're really not into that. This is for us. This was perfect. Um, I'll put a link into there. I think with the discount, it was 960 and change. So I'll put a link to uh, in, a, in a coupon code you can use, which is 25 plus life. Uh, that will give you 5% off the purchase. Uh, I think we'll get a little something back for it. Maybe a, an award, a sticker, who knows. Uh, but Again, not a paid endorsement, but it's just something we wanted to do. So, yeah, so again, uh, everything that we wanted here, you know, something, well, we have a little extra time because with everybody being uh, postponed on their trip. So one of the things that I was just noticing now is that the oatmeal color of this matches the uh, balance trim for us. So it's kind of an added bonus. It kind of makes everything flow nicely. I think at some point I'm going to figure out what to do with this trim piece here. Because uh, I think stopping halfway is going to annoy me. So I'll have to see if I can come up with something. Uh, maybe order something from Winnebago to bring that all the way down. But other than that, uh, we'll wrap that up. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Shoot us an email. Uh, send us a tweet. Whatever you got to do. Uh, yeah. That's it. So nobody to high five because it's just me today. So I apologize. Air high five to everybody. Social distance. Take care. Thank you. Hey friends, Bob from 25 plus life here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This way here we know you care. Thank you.